should be an intense game. And it's going to be a scorcher out here for today's game between the Temple Owls and the Tulsa Golden Hurricanes. And here come the Golden Hurricanes. EA Sports welcomes you to another game of NCAA football. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler here with my co-hosts, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. The Owls seem to have the better team. They should win this game. What do you think, Kirk? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think you're exactly right about this. Tulsa is going to have a tough time defending this rushing attack and this running back. It's very important that they shut him down and keep the ball out of his hands if they expect to have a chance in this game. I was just about to say that, but forget about it. Tulsa does not have the talent up front defensively to stop the running game. Kirk, the only way they have a chance to win this game is to force turnovers. Even then, I don't think it's going to be enough for them to win. And they're ready to kick this one off. He kicks it. Wimberly has it at the five. Kickoff returns 18 yards. Wimberly on the return. They'll get the ball here at the 23-yard line. They go with the run. And down he goes. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Richardson is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Hammond drops back. He steps up. He's under pressure. And that one's fallen incomplete. Kirkie just let that one get away from him. Yeah, and you can see he wants that one back. That's a throw this guy can make in his sleep. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 26. Temple comes out defensively with six defensive backs. And they're going to rule him out of bounds. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. He gets it off. Number 34 fields it at the 37. A good return there, guys. I'll tell you what, the blocking was tremendous on that play, Coach. You're absolutely right. He made some good moves, but the blocking was solid. First and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. The Golden Hurricane bring in the nickel package. Here's the option left. And he's taken down. He holds on to it and gets maybe two yards. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 49. Number 16 comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Looks. He's on the run. They threw the tailback that time for a nice little pickup. First 
It's first and ten. Ball of the 29. They come out on a nickel. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. He's going to go for the home run. And it's incomplete. A little too much muscle behind that pass. Second and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. Temple goes with the ace set here. Back to pass. He steps up. He's in trouble. It falls incomplete. I think the pressure forced him to get rid of the ball there, guys. Yeah, great job here by the defense. Getting a good surge up front, getting right into the quarterback's face. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 29. They come out in a five wide set. Drops back to pass. Under pressure. Across the middle. And he can't make the catch. And we got an injured player on the field. Looks like they're going to go for it here. They need this pass. Steps up. Wants to throw outside. The defense stopped him. That fourth down play was very important as far as the big Mo is concerned. Now they have momentum on their side. Go for it. They'll set up shot at the 29-yard line. Hammond on the option. And now he pitches it. He has some room. Jefferson brings him down. They keep it on the ground, and the halfback gets about seven yards. Second and three coming up. Ball on their own 36. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. We've got third and three here. Ball on the 36. Richardson lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Tosses to the left side. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Nice defensive stand there. And some good play calling defensively. They always had someone in the right spot to make a play and force the three and out. Fourth and five. Ball on the 34-yard line. And they're ready to punt this one away. Moffitt gets it off. Number 34 takes it at the 23. The offense heads out onto the field. On their last series, they opted to try and convert a fourth down, and they came up short. It's first and 10, all on their own 35. Number 34 alone in the backfield. He spins. Bailey with a takedown. He picks up four yards on the carry. Second and six. Ball on the 39-yard line. Tulsa lines up in a dime defense here. Back to pass. He steps up under heavy pressure. Complete. And down he goes at the 44-yard line. 
Nice little catch there, huh, Coach? Yeah, that was a good call. I like that call. I like short passes. They're safe and can lead to some really good yardage. Ball on their own 44. Temple sets up with four receivers. It's a pass on third and short. Got it to his receiver. And he's taken down. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and 10. Nice play. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45. Tulsa has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. He's going left, and it falls incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throws. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. They come out in a nickel, drops back to pass. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The Owl come out showing three wide, steps up, finds a man. Wimberly brings him down. Oh, my, that long game gives him a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. It's first and 10. Ball on the 30. The Owl line up with four wideouts, and it's caught. Has some daylight. And down he goes. And Herbie, that was a good-looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good-looking play. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Still no score. The Golden Hurricane line up in the nickel back. Steps up in the pocket. Complete. And he's taken down. A decent pickup that time. And see, guys, that's when this offense is at their best. If they can connect on these intermediate patterns, they'll allow them to be a lot more creative on offense. Looks like they're going to try to power this one in. And down he goes. The quarterback draw gets him maybe a yard. One yard gain on the play. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. Touchdown! He got behind those big buffet busters and followed them into the end zone. <laughs> that doesn't do a whole lot for yards per carry average, but hey, it sure puts a dent in the scoreboard.
And he tacks on the extra point. Over four minutes remain in the second quarter, and our score is Temple, seven, Tulsa, nothing. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Scott fields it at the three. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. They'll start this drive at the 26-yard line. the middle and he's taken down a gain of three yards by the fullback it's second down and seven to go ball on their own 29 Hammond lines up in the shotgun Down he goes. About six yards on the quarterback draw. Third and one. Ball on their own 35. The Golden Hurricane line up in an I formation. He drops back. He steps up, throws this one out to the right. Almost intercepted. That brings up a punting situation. I'll tell you what, this defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. He gets it away. Number 34 takes it at the 23, sheds that one. He almost broke it there. Like you said, Coach, one more block, and that could have been six. They'll go to work at the 33. First and 10. Tulsa comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Handoff up the middle. Fumble! And he's taken down. They almost gave him a present right there. Yep, the running back gift wrapped it and everything. Lucky someone on his own team fell on it. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. On the ground with the tailback. And down he goes at the 37. Two-yard pickup. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. The Golden Hurricane bring in the nickel package. Back to pass. Across the middle. Well, that was an impressive stand by the defense. Three good defensive plays equals punt. Nice job, guys. The Owl are lining up to punt it away. Number 49 gets it off. 
Wimberly fields it to 29. And that was a nice little punt return there. Well, Brad, that was a combination of a couple things. Some good blocks, but also the ability to avoid the coverage team by the return man. They'll take over at the 39. Temple lines up in a dime defense here. Hot. 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 Hammond steps back to pass. Steps up over the middle. And he's taken down. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Hey, that kid went down hard, but he's a tough kid. He'll shrug it off. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. Hammond comes to the line with three wide. Hammond gives it up the middle. And down he goes. Tulsa calls a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Second and six. Ball on the 44-yard line. The Golden Hurricane line up with four wideouts. Gray with a takedown. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. We've got an inadvertent face mask on the defense. Five-yard penalty, third down. He got caught with his hands around the face mask. Yeah, but the referees felt it was an accident, so they only charge him with a five-yard penalty. down and a yard. Ball on the 39-yard line. Wallace brings him down. Nothing gained on the play. Play action might work here. Hot. 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 Hammond gives it up the middle. And he's taken down at the 22-yard line. Tulsa takes a timeout, and now they've only got one remaining. First and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. Hammond has four receivers lined up here. Hammond drops back to pass. Here comes the pressure. His back makes the catch. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Drops back to pass. He's got to throw it in a hurry, and he drops it. Dropped by the tight end. Three wide outs here. Hot, hot. Hot. Hot, hot. Hammond set to go to the air. Steps up in the pocket. Looking. They'll make the sack. They put the pressure on, and it paid off. Well, his protection just simply broke down, and if that continues, this quarterback's going to have a long day. That brings up third and goal. This is the ninth play of this drive. They'll call on the field goal unit here. He gets it up, and it sails through the upright.
and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Ferguson back deep to return. Kicks it off. Number 34 takes it at the 8. <laughs> Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Temple 7, Tulsa 3. And the teams are lined up to start the second half. Here's the kick. Ferguson takes it at the 12. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 24. Number 16 lines up with five wide out. Set. Put hot. Put. Put. Put hot. They'll throw on first down across the middle. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Second and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. Number 34 lines up as a single back. On the ground with a tailback. And down he goes. The back gets three on the carry. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on their own 27. They line up in the shotgun. Draw play. Spins up field. And he's taken down. They'll get two on that one. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Wimberly fields it at the 24. Now, the reason why that's a good opportunity for the returner to run it back is because of the pressure up front. When there's pressure, the punt protection team always blocks a little longer, and they don't get down the field as fast. They'll set up shot at the 39-yard line. Parrish alone in the backfield. Hammond, back to pass. He steps up, wants to throw outside. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 39. Tulsa lines up with a split backfield. Perry on the handoff. And down he goes at the 49-yard line. Ten-yard pickup on the play. Third down and short. Ball on their own 49. There's a missed tackle. Creates some room. He's got an opening. Knocked out of bounds. Big, big gain on that one. Yeah, that's a big first down, too. Just keep moving those sticks and wear down that defense. Let's see the replay on that run. Yeah. 
First and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. The Golden Hurricane come out in the ace formation. Perry gets the call again. And he's taken down at the 21-yard line. Six yards on the carry. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 21. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. And that one's fallen incomplete. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Tulsa lines up in a double tight set. Hammond tosses to the left side. And they hit him in the backfield. Nice play by the linebacker. Number 29 is lined up for the kick. The kick is up. And it hits the crossbar. No good. They'll start this drive at the 22. At the 22 yard line. First and 10. One man backfield. Cut. 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 On the ground with the tailback. And down he goes at the 35 yard line. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. Here's another look at that fantastic run. It's first and ten. Ball on the 35. The Golden Hurricane bring in their dive package. And he's taken down at the 39-yard line. A pickup of four yards on the sneak. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 39. Temple sets up with four receivers. Back to pass. Over the middle. He got it. And down he goes at the 45. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. It's first and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. The Golden Hurricane line up in a nickelback. Bailey with a takedown. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. Second and eight coming up here. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Owl. Set up in the gun. Drops back to pass. He lets it go, and it's caught. And he's taken down. That was a good completion there. Yeah, I really liked the good, clean routes they ran on that play. It's third down and four to go. This is the sixth play of this drive. So that brings us to the end of the quarter. And at the end of three, our score, Temple, seven, Tulsa, three.
third and four. And this is the sixth play of the drive. The Owl line up in a goal line formation. He drops back. Steps up. He's under some heat. And down he goes. They were bringing a heavy rush on that one. Brad, that's what happens if the quarterback holds the ball too long, waiting for his receivers to get open. And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. Number 49 gets it off. Number 24 signals for a fair catch. And they'll down it at the six-yard line. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Let's see what happens this time around. Yeah, and that poor kicker has to wait on the sideline and hopes he gets a chance to redeem himself after that last miss. First and ten. Ball on the 13-yard line. Tulsa comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Hammond drops back. Steps up in the pocket. How about that play right there? Zone coverage by the defense, and the linebacker is quick enough to react and get a hand on the ball to force the incompletion. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 13. Tulsa comes out with an eye formation. Inside give. And down he goes. So the old counter gets two, maybe three yards. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 16. Temple lines up with five defensive backs. Hammond drops to throw. Oh, what an interception. He's got some blockers. Breaks one. Touchdown, Temple. And that was about the worst thing you could ask for. Oh, that hurts. The worst thing that can happen. And now you've got to regroup and try to get back on the field for another set of downs. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter, our score, Temple 14, Tulsa 3. Number 49, ready to kick. Scott and Wimberly set to return. Kicks it off. Scott fields it at the three. Spin move. I know the first thing I wanted to do after throwing a pick was to come out that next drive and throw. Let the defense know that I wasn't intimidated. And how many times did you go right back in there and throw another pick? Well, as you know, a quarterback needs a short memory, so I really don't remember, Scooter. You know better than that. <laughs> They'll go to work at the 21. Tulsa comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Hammond tosses to the left side. They'll drop him for a loss. And they stop the halfback for a loss. And let me tell you something, that toss play had no chance whatsoever. Defense was all over it. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on their own 18. The Owl bring in the nickel package. Back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. Throws this one out to the right. It falls incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. Third down, 13. Ball on the 18. Tulsa lines up in a shotgun set. Hammond drops back to pass. He's in trouble. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. 
And that was a very surprising call, don't you think? Yeah, it really is. Coach, what do you think? What are these guys thinking down there? Temporary insanity by the coach. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. And he can't hang on to the ball. He let that one get away from him. And Brad, any time a player muffs a return like that, it sticks around in the back of his mind. You need to just forget about it and move on. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. The Owls come to the line with their jumbo pack. Wiltshire brings him down, and they're going to play keep away and work this clock. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 38. They come out in a goal line set. Jefferson gets the carry, and he's taken down. Four yards on that play. Tulsa calls a timeout, and they've got two remaining. We've got third and three here. Ball on the 34. Temple will line up in a jumbo set here. the middle and down he goes the golden hurricane are going to take a timeout that was their second timeout look for a run right up the gut they keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's taken down. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. It's first and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Owl line up in a goal line formation. Washington will hand it off. Krause with a takedown. And not too much there on that run. Not too much, but the key here is try to milk as much time as possible. EA Sports and Old Spice say congratulations to our players of the game. Temple lines up in a goal line set. Again with the run, and down he goes. Tulsa takes a timeout, and that was their last timeout. Third and eight. Ball on the 28-yard line. The Owls come to the line with their jumbo package. Washington with the give, and he's taken down, and he's going to be short of the first down there, guys. You know, great effort here by the ball carrier, but I think they need to pass in that situation most of the time. They'll line it up for the field goal. It's up. And he missed it to the right. They'll get the ball here at the 23-yard line. The Golden Hurricane line up in an I formation. They'll throw on first down. 
Steps up. Looks. Pressure coming. He breaks free. He did and got away. And down he goes. Nice job by the quarterback to tuck that one and run. Nice job here. He's not the most athletic quarterback out there, but you can see that he makes up for it with his decision-making ability. Here he looks downfield, finds nobody open, and decides to take off with it and comes up with a solid game. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 39. The Golden Hurricane set up in the gun. Hammond back to throw. Looking, steps up in the pocket. Got it. And he's taken down. the end of the ball game. Kirk, any final thoughts here? This is about what I expected to see in this game. Tulsa came in here hoping to win, but not expecting to win. They need to develop that winning attitude and mentality if they're going to win these type of games. Folks, that's going to do it for this edition of NCAA Football 2004. We hope you'll join us again. Our final score, Temple 14, Tulsa 3. For Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreet, and everyone at EA Sports, I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye and see you next time.